Okay, so what we do is we've created that um, uh, the data flow task. All we need to do is connect to the various data sources that we want to pull into this uh, package. So we've got two data sources. One is a, um, a text file and the other one is a um, Excel file. So we'll sort out the text file first. So the text file pulls in um, subscription information and um, and this is sort of what we've created there is a uh, flat file source but we actually haven't we haven't created the actual connection to the flat file source so this is like the door and then the connection manager actually pipes the data in so let's double click on that uh, on that flat file source we will create a new flat file source it'll be to the uh, I'll just call it subscription but you could call it anything and then I'll go and browse and find out where it is find the file so my okay so it's under SQL Server examples um, merge join trim and so this is the file we want current subscription information all of the stuff normally fills in by default fine we want the column names in the first row of data so that's cool check out the columns this looks pretty good like it's all come through fine We've got the customer ID there subscription start date subscription end date um, yeah so that's great we'll just go okay that um, columns are all there again was okay that so that is our connection to um, the subscription file we also want to pull in Excel information so we'll do the same thing for an Excel file um, double click on it we'll create a new connection then look at the path towards the file so it's located in the same location as taken it's uh, straight there so, so the file trim cast ID be cool okay then we have to define the actual Excel sheet that's fine columns that's okay too and that is um, that file has um, uh, it's got customer ID in it I'll just we'll just call this um, I think it's got segment of, uh, segment information but let's just call it white space because it's also got um, IDs with white space. So what we'll do now is we'll do we'll join those files together and to join two files together based on the customer ID field we'll do um, to do that sort of join you use the merge join transformation not to be confused with the merge uh, transformation which is more like an append type transformation. Like um, Excel before you can join files um, you need to actually sort on the ID so like in a V lookup within Excel you need to sort on the the join key as well we're going to sort on customer ID on subscription date but we'll also need to sort on the other file as well also on the customer customer ID field um, so this yeah like a uh, so we could sort on on that um, customer ID so that's cool and let's just try and do a standard join and what I've done is I've joined those on two f uh, customer ID fields um, and they don't as I mentioned before um, sometimes have issues with white space on it I know that there aren't any issues with white space um, uh, white space in the fields that I've selected at the moment but we'll go back and demonstrate the uh, a, what a problem that could arise in a, uh, in a few minutes okay so we're just going to do an, an inner join as opposed to a um, left outer join or a full, full outer join and we're going to pull in basically information from from both tables ok 
Okay. 